If you've been following the explosion of desktop 3D printing, you know the landscape is evolving fast. Printers are getting faster, smarter, and more accessible, but choosing the right one can still be <sighs> overwhelming. Whether you're a beginner, a hobbyist, or a small business owner, the challenge is sifting through specs, print speeds, and user reviews to find a machine that delivers both quality and value. As a seasoned 3D printing enthusiast and reviewer, I've tested dozens of the most popular models, focusing on print quality, reliability, ease of use, and long-term support. Today, I'll walk you through the five best 3D printers for home use. Each all product links are in the description below. Feel free to check them out for the latest prices and availability. If you found this review helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's start. First up is the Creality K2 Plus, a powerhouse that's earned its reputation as the best overall 3D printer for home users this year. Manufactured by Creality, the K2 Plus boasts a massive build volume, making it perfect for large projects or batch printing multiple items at once. Its core XY architecture allows for blazing print speeds up to 600 millimeters per second and acceleration of 30,000 millimeters per second squared while maintaining impressive print accuracy down to 0.05 millimeters. The K2 Plus supports a wide range of materials, from standard PLA and PETG to engineering grade ABS, ASA, and carbon fiber infused filaments, thanks to its 350 degrees all metal hot end and actively heated chamber. In our testing, we found that K2 Plus is surprisingly quiet, operating at just 45 dB during typical prints. The flexible, dual-sided build plate provides excellent adhesion and easy part removal. Real-world print quality is outstanding, with crisp overhangs, smooth surfaces, and minimal stringing, even on complex multicolor jobs. Next is the Bamboo Lab A1 Combo, which has quickly become the go-to choice for home users seeking a balance of speed, ease of use, and multicolor capability. The A1 Combo features a 256 by 256 by 256 millimeter build volume and prints its speeds up to 500 millimeters per second. With automatic calibration of Z offset, bed leveling, vibration resonance, and nozzle pressure before every print. It supports PLA, PETG, and other common filaments, and the combo version includes the AMS light system for seamless multicolor printing. Standout features include a quick swap nozzle, active motor noise canceling, and a reinforced insulated heat bed cable for durability. The frame is sturdy and compact, and the printer is notably quiet, making it suitable for home environments. The magnetic build plate it ensures reliable adhesion and easy removal. Next, we have Prusa MK4, which is the gold standard of home 3D printing for good reason. With speeds up to 300 millimeters per second and layer resolution down to 50 microns, it handles detail-heavy prints with ease. It is compatible with a wide range of filaments. The MK4 is a workhorse for makers and small businesses alike. It ships semi-assembled, making setup easier for beginners while preserving modularity for advanced users. The printer's frame is built from CNC machined aluminum, giving it both rigidity and longevity. Operating noise is minimal, thanks to its quiet mode profiles. The textured steel sheep bed and auto bed leveling ensure strong adhesion and reliable first layers. Prusa's slicer software is one of the best in the industry, and firmware updates are frequent and robust. At number four on our list is Flash Forge Adventurer 5M, which is a high-performance home 3D printer designed to deliver professional-grade results with user-friendly operation. It boasts an impressive maximum print speed of 600 millimeters per second, powered by a Core XY motion system, making it one of the fastest in its class. With a layer resolution as fine as 50 microns and a 280 degrees Celsius direct drive extruder, it supports a wide range of filaments, including PLA, ABS, PETG, TPU, and even carbon fiber blends. The extruder features a three-second quick swap nozzle, allowing easy maintenance and rapid material changes. Its fully automatic bed leveling system eliminates the need for manual calibration, and the PEI-coated flexible bed ensures strong adhesion with easy print removal. The all-metal frame construction adds durability and minimizes vibration for cleaner layers. With a build volume of 220 by 220 by 220 millimeters, it offers ample space without taking over your desk. If you're looking for a savvy and capable home 3D printer, 
the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro might just be the hidden gem you've been searching for. With a build volume of 8.85 by 8.85 by 11 inches and a sturdy aluminum frame, this printer is designed for creators who want reliability without breaking the bank. It features a dual-gear direct-drive extruder made of SUS 303 stainless steel, which ensures smoother filament feeding and fewer clogs, ideal for PLA, TPU, PETG, and ABS. Its fully automatic bed leveling system with 39 individual sensor points guarantees a consistent first layer every time. The Neptune 3 Pro prints quietly thanks to stepper motor drivers that reduce noise to under 48 dB, making it perfect for a home or office setup. The removable PEI coated magnetic bed offers excellent adhesion and easy print removal. Add in the capacitive touchscreen, Z axis dual lead screws, and a powerful cooling system, and you've got a user friendly high precision machine. When comparing these printers, several technical criteria stand out. In terms of print quality and accuracy, the Bamboo Lab A1 and Creality K2 Plus lead the pack, delivering professional grade results with minimal tuning. The FlashForge Adventure 5M Pro is the most beginner-friendly with a gentle learning curve and robust safety features. All five printers feature automated bed leveling, intuitive user interfaces, and compatibility with popular slicing software, ensuring a smooth setup and printing experience. Which 3D printer are you most excited to try? Drop your questions or experiences in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more hands-on reviews and 3D printing tips.